Okay, welcome back. This is part 21 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, we finished up our uh, displaying our latest users, uh, our latest registered users, and uh, what I'm going to start on now is uh, a profile page that's going to be unique to every user, uh, and we're going to use uh, get variables to make it dynamic for every user. So we don't have to create multiple pages, it'll just be one. Um, but before we do that, what I want to do is, I was just uh, messing around, and this is not loading. Um, there we go. Uh, I was kind of just messing around, and I was thinking about it, and I really want the login and log out pages to, uh, to redirect to the home page once a user has logged in or logged out, for that matter. Um, so to do that, um, I'm going to go off screen here real quick. Um, what we need to do is uh, first I'm going to do it with the log out page. Now, once a user is logged in or logged out, I just want them to automatically be redirected to uh, my home page. So, what I'm going to do is uh, inside of this echo statement I have here, or actually, now I'll just do it. Yeah, I'll create another echo statement. I'm going to put an echo statement. And inside of here, I'm going to put uh, body and I'm going to say on load uh, equals and I'm going to put double quotation marks but before each double quotation mark I am going to put a uh, forward slash that's right above the enter key or return key on your keyboard um, <coughs> and that's so you don't get any errors now what I want to do is I want to say set and then uh, in lowercase and then a capital T and then um, timeout so set timeout spelled just like that then parentheses and a semicolon and inside the parentheses I'm gonna put in single quotation marks and I'm gonna say uh, log out and parentheses semicolon and after the single quotation mark I'm gonna put a comma and I'm going to put one just the one that's it and I'm gonna go ahead and save that file and um, I suppose if you want you could put in another echo statement to finish off that body but it's not really gonna matter because if as soon as you log out, as soon as the page loads, it's automatically going to redirect you to the home page. Because we're going to create this uh, a, a HTML or a, a JavaScript function that's going to uh, log our user out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to come into my uh, JavaScript file here. I'm just going to go to the bottom, and I'm going to create another function, say function, and I'm going to name it logout. And then inside of there, all you want to type in is um, actually let me bring something up um, sorry about this um, there it is uh, window dot location and we want to set window dot location equal to and this is inside of these single uh, double quotation marks what you want to do is you want to put in uh, your site address so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the full address if you wanted, you could just put in uh, the index.php file, um, but that's up to you. So I'm going to say basic, uh, basicnick.com. Um, so just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that function. Um, and I'm actually going to rename it to um, redirect. So I'm going to rename it to redirect, and I'm going to go back to the logout page, and I'm going to change the function name to redirect, and then parentheses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that line, and in our login page right above that echo statement, I'm going to paste it in there, except after this, I'm going to put in uh, 3,000, so that's uh, 3 seconds, and I'm going to change the message to you have been logged in as blank. Um, you will be redirected to our home page um, in a few seconds. There we go. So that, that kind of takes care of that problem. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close all three of those pages. Yeah, all three. And I have this profile page set up. So now we're going to actually start with our profile page. Um, so I have this page created, and it, it just has our generic text that we uh, usually start off with for all of the pages that we've created. We have our full left and right um, IDs in here, and uh, for now, I'm only going to use the full ID. 
um, but maybe later I might change it to using the left and right. I haven't quite decided. Uh, but the first thing we want to put inside of here is um, a variable called get ID or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what I'm calling mine. And we want to use the get method and so we can get a get variable and we're going to say ID. So we're getting a variable from our browser like up here it would say uh, profile.php question mark ID equals and then a number and what I'm doing is we're getting that value so uh, we can uh, connect to our database and get all the information uh, according to that value um, but what if that value isn't passed along isn't um, isn't isn't there and someone just navigates to your profile page well that's kinda problematic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in an if statement and I'm gonna say if no get ID so if uh, exclamation get ID or get ID variable what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the uh, get ID equal to one which in this case it's uh, what I'm gonna do is if there's no get ID it's automatically just gonna display the first user in my database which would be my user so it's automatically gonna display my account information and my uh, profile page if they just navigate to the profile page <coughs> now you could have this as a uh, a redirect so it'll just like redirect to another page or another file or maybe your home page or something or maybe an error page or something I don't know it could be whatever you want or you could just put in an if statement to display an error saying no user found or whatever it's up to you um, but then after that we're gonna put in our require and there's no there's not two queues and our require statement is going to be our connect like always so scripts slash connect.php and then we want to have a query variable and we're just gonna my sql underscore query so we're gonna create a query and the query is going to be uh, select all from and we want to select all from our users table and we're gonna say where ID equals and this is going to be our get ID variable so pretty simple just a pretty generic um, query or query I guess however you want to say it um, um, we're also gonna use num rows so we're gonna say num rows equals equals mysql underscore ah underscore num underscore rows and then inside we're gonna have our query so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in an if statement and we're gonna make sure that the um, num rows returns a valid result which means if it turns it returns a valid result that means that a user has been found with the ID the get ID um, that has been uh, provided a user has been found with that ID so someone can't just like go in and enter in like a random number and then try to get something uh, if that makes sense uh, so we're gonna say num rows uh, equals equals one so if it returns a one variable value um, that means a user has been found but if it returns a zero uh, that means no user was found which means we want to put in an echo statement and um, your echo could be anything I guess uh, for now, I'm just going to say no user was um, found. I guess uh, later on, I'll probably change that, maybe make it something a lot better, more sophisticated, but for now. Um, so inside of our numbers function here, what we want to do is we want to use the uh, our MySQL fetch associative array, so MySQL underscore fetch underscore sock what we're going to do now is we're going to get all the information about the uh, user and inside of here we just have our query and what we want to do is we want to get all the information about the user that would be any information that's entered in the database uh, for registration like the about the avatar website address whatever it could be whatever you put in uh, but what you want to do is you want to say like well you don't necessarily need the ID but I'm going to go ahead and get it anyway um, so it's just in the following syntax and just like that so that would get the ID for this user which we obviously already have it but I mean it doesn't really matter so you would just duplicate that line get their uh, username and then all that so I'm gonna stop this video here 
in the next video we will continue on and we will actually display some information so check out the next video